Hi, this is Dr. Nerschel. Uh, we've been doing a series of, uh, of, uh, of discussions about a variety of, uh, of uh, sports and orthopedic type of problems. And I, I thought we would, in this series, uh, discuss uh, knee arthritis. Uh, the, uh, uh, the concept of uh, arthritis is that uh, the slippery surface inside the joint is roughened. And uh, in way of analogy, uh, if you've ever been to a hockey game or watched ice skaters, the minute they scratch the top of the ice, uh, they made arthritis on the top of the ice. That's part one. But part two is how much. And so if you have a little scraping on the top of the ice, that's one thing. But if the refrigeration system fails and the ice melts down to, bo uh, to uh, concrete, uh, that's quite another matter. And that's, that's really big time arthritis, if you will. So the same thing happens with joint surfaces. And the slippery surface inside the joint is that white grizzle of the material which is at the end of a drumstick of a turkey hip. So if you want to understand that, maybe go on up to Kentucky Fried Chicken and get yourself a drumstick and take a look at that grizzle and then take a fork and poke some holes in the grizzle and you've just made arthritis in the grizzle. And again, if you cut the grizzle all the way down to bone, that's big time arthritis. That's like the hockey analogy. Uh, and then you have bone on bone and that's really uh, really major arthritis. Now, uh, arthritis in the knees, uh, uh, by and large, uh, over the last 10 years, there have been some studies that say, well, if you have arthritis in the knee, uh, the only chance you have is to do a total joint replacement, a total knee replacement. Uh, our experience has been a little different, and that is with uh, modest arthritis in the knee, uh, very often uh, an arthroscopic approach can be helpful. Now, several things happen in arthritis in addition to erosion of the joint surface, and that is that some spurs form, and one of the spurs is on the, on the leg bone, which is called the tibia bone, and that spur forms and can block the ability for the knee to fully straighten out. And so we found that if, if one uh, arthroscopically takes out that spur uh, and then takes out some spurs on the underside of the kneecap so that the knee can fully straighten, that an arthroscopic approach can be very valuable uh, from the points of view of a surgical intervention for knee arthritis. So if you have knee arthritis and, uh, and, and your surgeon says, well, uh, you know, the only thing we can do is a total joint replacement, maybe not. And so very often now in the orthopedic literature, it's suggested that, uh, that the arthroscopy doesn't help. But as I just pointed out, if you basically pay attention to the idea that if the knee can't straighten to work on getting the knee straight by taking out those spurs and then taking out the you know, joint lining overgrowth and uh, possibly some loose fragments that get caught inside the joint and very often there can be uh, the meniscal cartilage which is a little rubber cushion and uh, to clean that out that uh, very often that adds an alternative uh, to, uh, uh, to just doing a total joint replacement. So sometimes the joint is so badly destroyed that a total joint replacement is the best choice. Uh, no question about that. But at the same time, very often uh, in those more moderate issues that uh, your surgeon should offer you the alternative of doing a knee arthroscopy, which of course is much less punishing. It's outpatient surgery and you can get on with the rehabilitative process much quicker. Uh, other things that you can do short of surgery are also to inject some lubricant, uh, which is called hyaluronic acid, into, into the joint. It's kind of like taking your car over to the Jiffy Lube and getting it the, uh, a new lubrication from time to time. And also you can inject cortisone into the joint to calm down irritation. Now one of the things with arthritic joints, which is almost always present, is that there's a lot of weakness in the muscle groups. And so it's important before one considers any surgery is to do some appropriate physical therapy to really strengthen all of the muscles and obtain as much flexibility in the joint as possible. Sometimes people have flat feet or high arch feet and those feet basically uh, contribute a lot of pressure to the knee and putting a simple cushion inside the shoes is helpful and also using a simple knee brace uh, is also helpful. So those are, are tools that you can use uh, which uh, are very helpful in many instances and so you don't need to rush on to a total joint replacement. So uh, the alternatives are then doing non-surgical things and also consider an arthroscopic approach before one uh, moves on toward a total joint replacement. So I hope this, uh, this discussion helps. 
uh, and uh, and we'll be doing more in series of uh, of uh, how to approach. Uh, uh, in our view, uh, uh, things that, that uh, are very commonplace, uh, which happens to the bone and joint system.